a little raku firing in progress. Can't get too close, ruin my camera. But it's getting hot. Fingers crossed, got some new tests working. Okay, here's some wacky birds. Not too great. See how they look in the sun. Well, that's not working, is it? I'm going to give them a torch. This is uh, that elusive Raku mat that can be tricky as can be. And when it works, it works, and when it doesn't, it doesn't. This is a test tile of some uh, stains that I'm not sure we're getting very good photographs of. But I'm happy. I can move on with that. Some of that copper is really nice. Up at the top is Pippenberg, then a Raku stain, then a Raku luster, and these on the bottom are uh, my formula for stains. Can be a little bit thicker, I think. Okay, here I'm getting ready to unveil my uh, biggie test. A, uh, a raku glaze that I like, but I haven't really tried on cats. So we'll see what we see. No. no. That's pretty bad. No. Dead cat. Here we go. This is what I hate about raku. So I turned the cat over, and here you can see what I was striving to get. What I have learned about this glaze is it has to be total reduction, absolutely no oxidation, otherwise it is really ugly. Okay, these are the birds that uh, really looked horrible. And I, I got out my handy torch. Let's see, the light isn't too good, is it? But you might be able to see that there's quite an improvement. I'll uh, define the eyes. And on the right cat, you just won't even believe how beautiful these will look. So I'm happy with this. I can move on. I've tested the glaze. Uh, in disasters I can torch. So we can start really getting to work now. Oh. This is my handy little torch. Use it for quite a few things. But sometimes it's too intense for uh, some jobs. But I use it primarily to test to see what can I do. Okay.